Good. Good morning. Good morning. We're back. It's Paddle Expo day two. Today we're going to talk about canoeing. We're going to talk about apparel. I don't know. All sorts of fun things here on display at the show. So stay tuned. We're off on a journey like all great canoe trips. I've just got to check the map. Figure out where we go first. I think maybe Gats. Let's go. I'm one of those people that always has to turn the map in the direction I'm walking. <laughs> like I can't figure it out anyway. <laughs> Yoho Canoe, a super versatile product, good for white water, flat water, touring. This boat even went down the Grand Canyon, and you can use it with two people or one person. We also have here at Gats the Bending Branches Catalyst. This is a new paddle this year, made of wood, I think recycled wood. And for each of these paddles sold, $5 gets donated towards American Rivers, which is pretty cool. I'm here at the Beaver Canoe Booth. These guys drove all the way from Latvia with a van full of homemade canoes. Luckily, 2,000 kilometers, that's really far. Luckily, their canoes are nice and light. 16 or 17 kilos, look at that, that's amazing. So this is the Scout 330, a smaller single person canoe, designed for white water, flat water, touring. White water. White water. This is for training, more for training. For training? Yes. Wow, so training for what? Exercises. Ah, exercise, yes. I thought you meant like training for like ninja skills or no, no, spy no. But skills. But you can use it. But yeah. you can use it. <laughs> <laughs> or it will be used. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, La the Latvian FBI all has these for training. <laughs> They're nice, right? Nice pattern. I like this one. And this one. Ooh. This is the RTM Riviera. It's a plastic canoe designed for the rental market. What's special about this one is it's got four seats, so that means rental companies can fit way more people. Um, so if you've got a rental fleet of 25 boats, or let's make it easier because I'm bad at math, 10 boats, uh, with four seats you can send out you know, 40 people really easily, so more profit, um, more fun for everyone. Pretty cool. And really hard to break. I'm at North Star Canoes. By the end of the day, I'm gonna be a canoe expert or at least a pro at lifting canoes. Um, these are carbon canoes, carbon Kevlar? Carbon Kevlar, made from a two-part mold with a single-piece carbon gunwale. I learned today is it takes about 30 hours to make one of these canoes. And what's really impressive is how long is this? 15 and a half feet. 15 and a half feet and it weighs, what, 16 kg-ish? 28 pounds. Yeah, 28 pounds, which means that even I can lift this up. Crazy easy. That's amazing. Amazing. Nice. Yeah. Why is it so long? All racing boats meet an international standard. They have to be 5.2 meters. So all the K1s, all the C1s, all the singles. To make it fair, all boats have a set length they have to be. So even as a beginner, you've got to learn to paddle all 5.2 meters from the beginning. Yeah. No cheating. But there are all levels of stability. So we have boats that are that wide that anyone can get into and paddle from day one. It will still be 5.2 meters because that's the optimum length to get maximum speed. But you can, we have boats that anybody can get into and paddle. Very cool. Thank you. No problem These canoes are cool, but my favorite canoe, one full of snacks. Okay, we're not that cool. This is just so you can travel with it. So you know paddles get broken when you're traveling? Yeah. They don't anymore. That is real nifty. Yeah, I and mean, we just build it up to the spec that people need, so if somebody wants a wood blade they can travel with, or a particular long one, I can build it. I'm with Pete at the Free Fall Paddles booth talking about their recycled, re, what would you call it? Repurposed? Re repurposed, recycled, reused wood materials, yeah. Yeah, as well as just their modular paddle range. Yeah. 
Yeah. Which means? Uh, basically what we did when we looked at the, the, the canoeing industry was we looked at what was available in the market. It was fantastic paddles and we felt that options weren't there for things like travelling, for, for uh, different types of blades, different types of materials. So we produce all of our blades in all the ranges. So we have it, Kevlar, we have glass, we have composite. And then we break down options like this sort of thing. So we build pretty much modular paddles. So what you need, you just ring us up, we order it and we make it for you. Amazing. Thank you so much. We nice try. to see you guys back here. Talk to you soon. Yeah. For, that's it for canoeing, but don't worry. There's going to be lots more races. Oh no, he sinks. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm pinned. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Save him. <laughs> Don't worry guys, there's going to be lots more products to come here on paddlerguide.com. In the meantime, excuse me, I've got to go rescue my friend. <laughs>